This is a follow-up video to this video that I made about creating a procedural lighting system. So if you haven't seen it, you should probably watch that first, and then come back here. Lawrence left a comment on the procedural lighting video, asking if there is a way to turn off specific lights once they are spawned in. And I thought that would be a nice addition to the system, so let me show you how to do it. In this setup, I have hard-coded the amount of spawn lights to 5, by setting the count value of the mesh line to 5. You could expand this to any number of lights, but I think 5 is a good number for this. This part of the note tree is responsible for creating the positions for the lights to spawn at, so we can leave it as it is. Instead, we will move over here to where the instancing of the lights takes place. Essentially what we want to do is to use the selection input here on the instance on points node to create a selection that excludes one or more points from being used for instancing. To do this, we will create some on or off conditions with boolean math nodes. Let's start simple by creating a control for just a light spawn at index 0. Add a group input node, an index node, two compare nodes, both set to integer and equal, and one boolean math node set to AND. Connect the index node to the A input of the first compare node. Then connect it to the AND node. Then connect the A input of the second compare node to an empty socket of the group input. Set the B value to 1. Then connect that node to the AND node as well. And finally, Connect the AND node to the selection input of the instance on points node. Press N to open the property sidebar, and rename the new group input value to light1. Now we can control the light at the first index with this new light1 value in the modifier, where 0 means that it's off, and 1 means that it's on. So now that we have the base for controlling one light, we can create a new node group of the solution and reuse it for the other lights. Select these four nodes, and press Ctrl G to create a new node group. Rename the A input to light switch in the property sidebar. Then connect the B value to the empty socket of the group input. Rename the B input to index. Then press Tab to exit the node group. I will also rename the node group itself to light switch, just to keep things a bit more clear. Now, the only thing we need to do to control the other lights is to duplicate the light switch node group, connect the light switch input to an empty socket in the group input, increase the index value by 1, Add a boolean math node set to OR. And connect the nodes like this. Now we have two lights. So now we just repeat the process for the remaining lights, until all five lights are controllable from the modifier with their own light switches. And that's basically all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful, and that you learned something new. See you next time. Thank you.